Recently, Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney had a face-off. There were rumors that Ryan might be using cocaine, making him look addicted. However, Ryan clarified that he wasn't using cocaine. He was just drinking and smoking weed. I want to clarify some things. I don't do cocaine. I would do a live drug test. What do you do? Drug test. What I, do you do? I drink and I smoke weed. So has majority of this room. You finally got somebody raising your hand saying, I'm real. I'm like this. I do drink. I do smoke. Now what? It's okay. Guess what? We all have our flaws and we all evolve as people. I'm 25 years old. You got to remember the weight of the world sometimes feels like it's on my shoulders. I don't know how many people have been 25 years old and made $100 million in their life and can do whatever they want. I want to see what you would do in my shoes. Probably a lot more than some weed. <laughs> now, many fans are concerned about his well-being. To address this, Ryan shares an update on his condition. Guys, it's me, Ryan. I'm coming on here to explain what's going on. I'm not in possession of my phone. I can't get access to my Instagram. My cards are locked. And I'm just being real, I'm being real taken advantage. I personally wanted just to send out a video to the people that love me and my fans and family that's concerned that I'm okay. I'm not dead. I believe in Jesus. All those are lies. They try to put me in jail. They're blocking my cards. I can't access my money. Nobody's hitting me back. I don't know what's going on, but uh, just know I'm okay. Look. On the flip side, Terrence Crawford, the unified welterweight world champion, is considered by Dmitry Vivald to be the number one boxer in the world today. Despite Crawford's desire for a mega showdown with the current undisputed super middleweight world champion, Canelo Alvarez, Vivald believes that achieving this feat will not be easy. Vivald emphasizes the importance of respecting weight classes in boxing, a fundamental principle taught to him when he first entered a boxing gym to learn the sport. It is widely recognized that Terence Crawford would have to move up three weight divisions to contend with Canelo making the task a formidable challenge for the current top-ranked active boxer. Nutritional considerations are paramount for Crawford, as he must gain weight without compromising his speed, strength, and overall health. As a result, some viewers have suggested that if Vivald is not, in fact, Crawford himself, he should humbly seek the advice of the eight-division world champion, Manny Pacquiao, on the best approach to gaining weight while retaining speed and strength, given Pacquiao's exemplary track record in this area. There is no one more qualified to offer guidance on nutrition for the purpose of ascending multiple weight classes. It is worth noting that Pacquiao is the only boxer in boxing history to have achieved the status of an eight division world champion. Some people who do not like Pacquiao have commented that Crawford is better than him and didn't need his help. They also say that when Pacquiao moved up to the one for seven pound welterweight division, it was difficult for him to knock out his opponents, while Crawford has won all his knockouts since moving up to the welterweight division. Moreover, some people believe that Pacquiao will only face Crawford if he has used illegal drugs, as they think it is the only way Pacquiao is able to maintain his strength and speed while climbing up to the higher division.